Thought, well, maybe that'd be a good way to come in, but uh, it looks like it's about as bad as the, the way that she had uh, said it's recommended. Cause it's one of these twists and turns, uh, get in there. Plus, I got to find out if there's a, a specific spot on the airfield that uh, she wants to set up or whatever. Any, any chance of a plane landing? No, no, they, <laughs> they closed the, air, they closed the <laughs> airfield. <laughs> we got green lasers just in case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we could blind them. There's not a chance of plane landing. We, we could blind them and put them in the river. <laughs> no problem with that. But uh, I, I think that'd probably be the least of our problems there. <laughs> Uh, I think pollution, light pollution, is going to be the the major kick, throw, a drawback there. And I, I forgot. I was trying to look at it to see what was across the river and see how much light is there, because anything to the south and probably to the southwest and possibly well even the west is going to be out of out of view. It, it's just going to be trying to look back over the city. And I don't think that. Uh, uh, many of our scopes will be able to penetrate that, that pollution. Uh, Actually, the refractors are better than these. Yeah. We can look at double stars. And, uh, yeah. But Jim and Jim have two nice little refractors there that they can, you know, like I say, we get everybody, we can get, you know, everybody with uh, bring their scope and all, uh, we should be. Because you know, every, every time they sit there and say, uh, 150 people, uh, we get 20. You know? uh, 300. Yeah, or we might get 2,000 down there. I don't know. You know. Yeah, okay. you know In November, it's uh, Jupiter is not rising yet, and Saturn is long gone. So, yeah, so. It's going to be cold. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Best thing I guess we could do is try to pick a date uh, in September and October and uh, go for the uh, just look at constellations of uh, uh, clusters and uh, and if, if we go, uh, well, what I want to try to do is get down there someday and, and take a look at it and then uh, I think there's a. a Oh, I have a, uh, uh, I think the National Police Department has a uh, website where you can go up and check for criminal activity in the area. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're going to be, you know, probably traveling some of those side streets in there, and it's northern Nashville. Uh, Seems like every time I turn around, somebody's shooting somebody up there. Really? Well, we could we could get together and then convoy in. Oh yeah. This is good. Well, I'm not worried about. I'm really not worried about that, but I just thought, well, it might be interesting to see. Uh, Which group is this, Jack? Uh, uh, what wants us to host this? I'm. I'm not sure what she. Uh, I don't know if she's in the parks department or if she's, you know, it's uh, like the Friends of Bledsoe or or what. There, you know, I haven't talked to her on the phone. I just want to run dates and everything uh, fast. Uh, Asked everybody to see what the thoughts were, and, uh, because I wasn't aware of Starfest uh, being all those those weekends. Um, or Twilight, Twin Lakes, uh, and Starfest is in October. Yeah. Last weekend is last, or sometimes it's the first. They try not to conflict. Now Starfest tries not to conflict with other star parties when it hurts the town. It's the last two years. Right? They do try to have a pretty good night because decent skies. And there's not like it used to be, but still you can see a lot of dark sky. Yeah. Alan, do you know anything about uh, a group that's uh, Levin Hunk Optics? Never heard of them out of Chicago? No. Okay. Uh, How do you spell it, Jeff? Uh, L E V E N H U K. I don't know. Uh, I sent the club officers, uh, get you up to speed here real quick, I sent the club officers an email I received from them. They were offering us a commission on uh, selling uh, stuff and I kind of opt to, I, I'm against, 
I think I'm against that because I think it put us in a compromising position. Of well, not only that, money. we have reduced our our dues because we got more money than we need. Right, right. So, but uh, the thing that, that bothered me is just uh, I didn't think it looked right, and so anyway, I just I didn't know if they were legitimate or not, and so I was just going to see if anybody knew anything about them and. Uh, but um, and now we've uh, we've been invited to have a star party down at Shelby Bottoms. It's the old air park, uh, the old airfield on, Nash, uh, on the river. And World War One, probably. Yeah. Uh, and we're trying to decide on what might be the best dates uh, to go down there. Uh, the problem we're discussing is the light pollution of the area. Uh, not much is going to be visible as far as planets go. Uh, strictly be probably moon and if we're lucky, some uh, constellations and all. Yeah. So you really need, you really need the moon at least, and then mm -hmm. I think one planet yeah. at least. Who is sponsoring that? Um, Denise uh, Weiler. Denise Weiler. Of, uh, she's in Nashville government, and I don't know if she's with the parks or what. Uh, I would need to call her and talk to her and get a lot more specifics. Um, I just wanted to run by everybody and try to get an idea for dates that may be available. Because initially, she contacted Dr. Ferris, and uh, she indicated to him there might be as many as 150 people there. So they're going to so, be well advertised, I guess. Yes, because she's going to publish it in some uh, some form down there, and uh, you know, lots. Of, we've been to a lot of them where they said 150, 20 show up. You know, yeah. so you never know until the day's there. Well, even 20 is pretty good. Yeah. What but, would uh, this Adventure Science Center? I got a big parking yeah. out there. What if we went into them and helped sponsor this? Drop those people over there. Just to meet us over there. They're going to drive someplace anyhow. So they can meet us over there. That'd be safer. And we know that area. You know, Bernard safer. I do you think they're still they don't associated. Meet there anymore. They don't meet there anymore. What's that? Bernard safer. Uh, they used to meet at uh, Science uh, right. Center. Right. Science. Right. They don't. They don't meet there anymore. Huh? Yeah, they got a long hunter. Yeah. yeah. I was Bernard. wondering. Why she would contact Cumberland Astronomical rather than the non I don't know if she had tried them before and they turned her down or not. I don't like to say. I'd have to talk to her. I, I was just trying to figure out uh, some type yeah. of date first there. You didn't know. So you had a bunch of guys up here. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you. There you go. <laughs> uh, what do you think? They know we're more laid back. She sure came over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's fine. <laughs> Big improvement. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's where we are right now. Just trying to decide on what might be a good date to go. And if we go for a full moon night, why well, then we're running the risk of it washing out whatever we could see as far as the uh, clusters and things like that. So um, I think clusters would be a moon unless you go on aperture. Yeah. And that was I think the moon, if you did it, you could do a set up a moon chart of each telescope and you could do a whiz bang program up there with that. Just the moon. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have well, to be, besides that, what are they going to see in it regularly? If you, even if you have a, a fairly dark sky, they're going to see a little fuzzy patch mm -hmm. and then you're going to try to explain what that is. Yeah. Or if you're looking at the moon, you can actually see some detail. Right. Saturn's rings are real good and even Jupiter's bands are really starts to go downhill from there. And, uh, and Mars, people are intrigued with Mars, but it's hard to, for the average person to even see the polar caps. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, unless you get used to yeah. picking up detail. Yeah. Well, according to the star charts, it's not even going to be available to anywhere near uh, viewing there. Yeah. Uh, possible one day, uh, one of the days, there was a possibility of uh, Venus, but it was so low on the horizon. Right? And it, Probably be to the west, and that would probably kill it. So, the, either the 21st of September or the 19th of October, uh, we'd have pretty much full moons. 
$10,000. Well, you can see the ejector patterns real well. Uh -huh. and, uh, well, got, most everybody's got clean filters, so they yeah. you know they cut it, yeah, I got cut it down. Yeah. So, um, but our, okay. So should we say our first preference would be the then the nineteenth of October, and our second would be the twenty first of September. But both of them are pretty full. Cool. Actually, I'm kind of the a moon filter is not going to help Jack. Because well, it's cut down the guy where it's not. Yeah, but well, I don't see any moon. detail on the moon. There's no shadows. Well, that's a totally full though. If there, even if you just see some craters to one side. Yeah. I mean that's pretty good. Yeah. Well, the other, yeah, like I say, uh, the other uh, two dates there. Uh, it's just a, a, a sliver, and so we wouldn't be able to see a whole lot there anyway. Just the slippers, but at least we can see other objects with the full moon. Yeah, but I don't. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the light. My time going down there with the full yeah, moon. I'm I don't know. I don't know about the light pollution. Is what I'm, what I'm thinking. Uh, and well, I mean, my I'm gonna have to go down there some one night and take a peek. Uh, well, I tell you what, we really need to know. We need to know what what kind of scene conditions we got. Mm -hmm. We don't know that yet. Right. And that can determine a lot of other things right. all by itself. And two, we don't know what the, uh, exactly when the full moon is or what kind um, of moon. Let's see, the, it's uh, like it's two or three days. 19th, uh, I think, is the full for the October. And about, I think it was like the 22nd or so. Because on the 21st, it's like about 7 eighths full. Let's uh, see what we got here. There's nothing that says we have to do this either, right? Well, no, but it was just, you know, we're, <laughs> so long we try to. I mean, we can just tell them that that's not going to fit. If you people would like to come out to our location, I mean, yeah, I mean you know that's not going to happen. So you well, you know, the thing is we can go all that way for 150 people and have seven show up. That's true. You know, we, we, or we, we might have 7,000, you know. You don't, you don't know. Uh, okay, the night paint's so close to full tonight. You can probably see a few shadow craters and that. Yeah, I thought I, I looked at uh, Heavens Above today and saw it there. Uh, I just, I just, you know, like I said, we've we got to go in there and see how, what the sky conditions are in that area, whether there's a whole lot of light pollution uh, or not. Uh, so. That's so bright from here. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if we have our usual, if we have our usual turnout, we'll have five scopes. I, so. I, twice in my life, you know, we typically had a small turnout, like for astronomy day. Yeah. And I remember Charles Ferguson. He had that aneurysm. It's not quite an aneurysm, but uh, and Paul Lewis had to go to Virginia because they were buddies for years, and we were at UT by ourselves. And lo and behold, we must have had 2,000 people show up. <laughs> and we had like 20 of you before. Yeah. Yeah. You just never know. You never know. But if you only have the moon to look at, five scopes is going to be plenty. Yeah. Because they're all going to be on the moon. There won't be any other targets. So. But we don't, like I say, until we find out what the, the viewing conditions are down there, mm. we're beating our heads against the wall. Because I'm going yeah. to take a trip down there and, Dark and let me just a take dark a, Let me just take it right now until we get the view information. Yeah, let's just find that yeah, out. Talk about it. all night. Yeah, well, like I said, I just, you know, but I run, uh, we can do this by email too, I think. Yeah. yeah. If we can find out what that is, and then we can actually kind of have it. Send an email out to everybody, and then, I mean, I'll respond. Promise? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, pay I, pay <laughs> I pay more attention to my name. Maybe Jack will even read it. <laughs> Under, <laughs> understand it. Well, I go through my, uh, I've got one that I use strictly for job hunting and business, and then I got another one I use for fun stuff. And uh, I forgot a little trouble with that one uh, last week or so, and then uh, when I finally got into it, one thing was missing. That should have been on there. But anyway, um, so I pay more attention to trying to get a job right now than I do. Yeah. And I mean, I've got to, matter of fact, that's one thing I did right before that. Uh, email me, 
trying to get another phone interview. I'm getting phone interviews at the zoo, but it's just when I go. What, what did that have to do with our phone again? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to buy us a new telescope for the club. Oh. Keep <laughs> talking. <laughs> but anyway, you know, it's just, that's the kind of stuff that happens to people. I don't like people that get separate emails. It's really sure. great. Yeah. Well, I do now because of uh, the Google Plus deal. I don't know if you guys were aware of Google Plus now. And if you haven't uh, gone up there, let's see, what else we all be in? Uh, Google Plus. Uh, yeah, Alan maintains the Facebook. Thanks. The Twitter account pretty much went dead because it kept getting hacked. Karma kind of gave up on it. Uh, uh, let's see. Got several. Several of the offering there. Uh, but if you uh, have it uh, and want to add another thing to it, go up Google Plus and establish your account. And, uh, I don't know. Well, you don't have to have like, an account to, to get into it. I don't think. I'm still trying to figure out. I accidentally stumbled across the side here once in a while. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess my question is, if we're going to go out there when it's going to be a dark night, right? then we can scope it out for, but if we're going out there when it's a full moon, it's really not going to matter a whole lot what kind of seeing conditions we're going to have. right? Man. Well, um, I said Saturday, um, what's the opinion on uh, Friday nights? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's end of a work day and... Football. Uh, yeah, football will be going. Well, Saturday too, as far as that goes. But mostly Saturday afternoon, I think. Some, some of the night. I don't know what just local team schedules are, unless they're all into high school uh, activities. And actually, Vanderbilt's got a football team for a change. If they were actually going to Vanderbilt games. If they make it all to the start of the season. I don't know. They're, they're, they're getting like the NFL there. They're, they're, they're working on a prison team. <laughs> Or should I say Tennessee? Well, I can, you can tell they're getting better. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, anyway, that's uh, I, that's the problem you have with things in the fall when you start running into football games. Now, I'm a big football fan. Yeah. And that affects me. Uh, and I've tried to work around it, too. So. A lot of people, like if you got a kid or something yeah. like that, people just go to that would kill attendance to any event like that. Well, that's why we go to the zone because we get the campers. Yeah. Uh, we had, what, about 25, 30 people last, uh, last week yeah. or week four, whatever it was. Uh, we had <laughs> and lots we of had kids. one scope. Yeah. yeah, and it wasn't <laughs> the club scope. Yeah. Yeah. It was so funny. Yeah. We yeah. didn't bother getting our equipment out, and a, uh, a uh, Boy Scout, they had bought him, his parents had bought him a scope, and Finally got to do the one thing I've been wanting to do, and that's you know do a here's how you set it up and use it, and then he proceeded to uh, meet his uh, quota for his merit badge of helping uh, us have a star party, uh, yeah. you know, because without him we probably would have never set up and just went home. Because yeah. binoculars would have cut it that night. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got enough uh, clear spots and stuff to show Saturn, the yeah. Moon. Uh, a couple other odd, odd in stars. So. Well, turned out to be really good there. Uh, his name, uh, I believe that his was Jesse James. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. him and his father both are Jesse James. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Jack, what about a different weeknight, like a Tuesday or a Thursday? We won't be in competition with uh, football. The nights are uh, going to get started a lot earlier in October and November. Uh, I went ahead and said Saturday just because of the fact that 
more people available, usually available for Saturdays than they are during the week. Um, for the three of us uh, that are retired and don't have jobs, why midweek is no problem. But for everybody else who's working, they might not, you know, feel like uh, stopping down there. I mean, I'm open to suggestions here. I just, um, you know, I just want to kick it out and see what was available. Did she ever? Did have you? I haven't spoken with her now. Okay, you need to find out what day she's got available too. That's a definite. Well, she basically she said, you know, okay, right. when when do you want to do it? You know. So I can come, I can come back with her and ask uh, if she has uh, preference of uh, days, whether weekday or weekend or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you got something right on? I did. I got something right with me. I don't know. Here's what I think we need to know before we get too far away. I need. I think we need to find out. Uh, uh, make sure that. See, She's got available. I'm right here. Ouch. Uh, so get up. Uh, wait till you're my age. <laughs> no, you are my age. <laughs> no, no, I'm 60. Right? I aged 10 years. Uh, Looks like somebody lost a button. Age. Say it. Looks like somebody lost a button. Uh, yes, I did. Right here in front of the desk. <laughs> it rolled up when they yeah, uh, we'll get it later. <laughs> My seamstress will show up and uh, <laughs> take care of it next year. <laughs> Maybe never. Yeah. I finally went out and bought one of them things with the little plastic things, you know, and you stick your button in the plastic thing and shoot it through there. Because I couldn't get anybody to sew them on because it wouldn't stay. Oh. <laughs> when I sew them on, while they're on. <laughs> yeah, I'm exactly. <laughs> Looks like you know I got thirty knots on the back of it trying to we'll make sure it don't come undone again. But, uh, uh, I'll send out that uh, the two emails and has the written directions and uh, the Google Map uh, link uh, to everybody uh, Tuesday, I guess, and uh, you can. Look through the the site and read the uh, directions to it and uh, see what you you have to think there. She just wanted some lead time so that she could get it published. Uh, and apparently they have either a newsletter or um, some type of a deal. Right and thinking. Uh, um, you say you have a three-inch scope, and uh, you well versed in it, or you need the uh, instruction. Because Ben is a great instructor. He had Jesse going in about 20 minutes there, and the kid was acting like a pro. Yeah, I got it when I was really young, and uh, I probably should blow the dust off of it before I take it out. But, uh, yeah, it still it still works. Actually, I got it out not too long ago. And it, the, the alignments, you know, the things on the bottom that tell you where you are uh -huh. in the sky are a little off, but uh, it's not the best set of legs, but it's, I think it's got good glass on it. I mean, it's, it's, uh, uh, our next uh, star party will be the 17th of uh, August, so okay. bring your scope, and uh, yeah. uh, if uh, Ben isn't there, well, it'll be, it's probably raining, but uh, uh, I'm sure there'll be somebody there that can help you with that. I have a dive, so mine is real easy. I just throw it in there, put the springs on it, and I'm, I'm in business. So, uh, and what kind of eyepieces do you have, too? For them? Yeah, that, uh, eyepieces are a thing. A lot of times, small scopes you have good uh, optics there, but your eyepieces will make or break it. Uh, be a lot. Find your school for the red dot finder. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Because the best thing before you come is align that during the day. So, mm -hmm. You know, point it at something the furthest you can see, telephone, old church steeple, stuff like that. And 
you see that in the eyepiece with the widest field of view, the biggest glass. And then once you got that, try to lock it down and then adjust your finder's goal, because that will really help us at night. Mm -hmm. Greg, you going to show up at some star parties? Or are you, I'm going to uh, try to. Uh, the last star party, I had a church function that kept me, kept me from showing up, so uh -huh. I'm going to try to show up for one. Uh, 17th. Uh, I'm so. putting it down on the calendar right now. Yeah. Uh, lots of dead rain. Uh, uh, the, uh, the 13th there, well, we thought we were going to get rained out, uh, but it just had a lot of clouds and we had to wait a few minutes every once in a while for the clouds to clear the object there, but, uh, and then like all time, every time we've been down there, why, uh, 10 o'clock it cleared up and it was beautiful. <laughs> but since uh, uh, the kid had to take his telescope and go home, why, yeah. <laughs> the only thing we had left were binoculars. <laughs> yeah. uh, I had mine packed up in my kid's car and, uh, Somehow, dumb GMC product, uh, 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 no broadcast that. Uh, <laughs> <Too late. laughs> but I didn't know. Uh, well, it, it has a, that particular uh, model of year, or around those years, they have a lot of uh, condensation and things built, building up into the steering column, and so the, the wires kind of short out. and. Oh, my son, it always, he said it always happened to him in the middle of the night. The horns just start blaring like crazy. Uh, <laughs> Two or three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, for me, I did it one morning about 9.30 or so. So I rolled out of bed, uh, went out there and uh, uh, got it stopped. And so I had the brilliant idea that, hey, disconnect the horn. <laughs> no problem with that, you know. That would that, cure the problem, you know. Well, I found out later, as uh, long as I was driving, it, and I put all my telescope uh, equipment and everything in that car, and I was taking it to the Boy Scouts and going to uh, go to the, the star parties. And I went out to go uh, to the star party, and it, <laughs> no juice, which could get it started. So it was late, and I was figured that with the, the way the overcast and everything was, oh, well, I wasn't overcast, but the broken clouds and everything, I figured, well, Better get down there and see if anybody showed up. So I grabbed my binoculars and took off. And uh, then uh, I, I found out later that uh, if you disconnect the horns, you'll run the battery down. And I had been <laughs> naturally, <laughs> naturally. So I had been driving once a week. They're going to the Boy Scouts, and that would be enough charge that it would crank for the following week and go. But then we had uh, the storms. So we didn't go for two weeks, and so two weeks wouldn't last there. So I went out there and uh, nothing going. So, so the alternator doesn't work if you disconnect the battery out of the car. I have no idea. That's a feature of the car is that it, it, it blows the horn to let you know the battery is getting low. <laughs> well, that stupid new car I got, that dumb thing won't let you sit there and run. Uh, with the, uh, but for 10 minutes there, before it'll shut everything off there, before the engine shut off. So, and I don't like to sit there and waste gas listening to the radio, so uh, whenever I'm out someplace and I'm waiting on a shopper, so I, uh, I listen to the radio for 10 minutes and then it kicks off. Is that the same kind of person that sucks your pants on? Yes. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> but she does make good meals. <laughs> Uh, I have 40 extra pounds to attest to that. But uh, the next button will be sewn on Jack's lips. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next time you see me, I'll have raccoon eyes. Dr. A date may magically appear and yeah. some of those things are taken into account. Yeah. We so pretty much wiped out the planets there because there's not going to be much to be seen uh, in the event. But, uh, uh, yeah. I can thank you. Are the Pleiades up? Uh, 
let's see, Scorpio uh, Scorp and uh, Sagittarius were going to be visible. Uh, Her Hercules would, uh, was going to be up. Um, yeah, all, all those nights. Um, Larry, is that it? Booties, uh, I think it was. Uh, Scorpio and Sagittarius are going to be low in the southwest. Yes, they are.